Solar panels have always been attractive to those who want a clean source for power or maybe even live off the grid. But there are a handful of emergency preparedness. Now, for those of you who consider solar chargers in your hurricane plans, meteorologist John Dawson has a portable option to show us today. Yes, solar panels sound like a great idea when planning for a power loss. The technology is always improving and the prices are always falling, but I still think there's some obstacles to overcome when using the sun for power. On today's Hurricane Gear Test, I have a foldable solar panel charger from Freeforce, and it's primarily designed to charge their portable power stations, but you can still use it to charge your USB devices. And I'm going to start with a frustration all over the Free Force website. They say that unfolded, this stretches out to seven and a half feet long. And I don't know how they came up with that number because I'm six foot tall and this thing is clearly shorter than me. They also say that the monocrystalline silicon panels will work together to create 60 watts of power. And that's going to be an optimal direct sunlight, which is great if you're using the DC output to charge one of their batteries. But if you're just using the USB port, that is going to be way more power than what you need. So here's my advice for solar panels in your hurricane kits. Don't buy one if it doesn't include or you don't already have a detachable battery for it to charge. While this pouch does provide some protection, it's not convenient for me to leave my phone sitting here attached to the panel, but I could leave a battery here to charge in the sun and then plug my phone or other device into that later. Also, remember, the sky doesn't always offer ideal charging conditions, and solar power will always be slower than you want. But a charger like this with such a large surface area is able to absorb whatever light is out there, helping keep your USB devices charged. I give this foldable solar panel charger a cat two out of five on my hurricane kit priority scale. It really needs to be paired with a free force ultralight portable power station. The list price is $199. I've got more information on my Facebook page. I'm at John Dawson, Fox 26.